here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Bacon Bar. Make sure that you like my Las Vegas based travel page at Sin City Foodie Travel. Also my main page, Huntington Beach page at Surf City Foodie and Travel. We'll see you here on the other side. Cindy here with Sin City Foodie and Travel. Make sure to follow me on Sin City Foodie Travel. Also my main Facebook page at Surf City Foodie and Travel. I am here in beautiful Las Vegas at the Bacon Bar. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Wow. I mean, check out this menu. So this is the BLT. Thick cut bacon, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, balsamic herb, mayo, served on a thick toasted bread. If you want to do extra bacon, it's $2, but this is amazing. So many things to enjoy here. My salad is all gone. But before I bite into this, so let me show you some of the yummy here. So we have the bacon bites. There's the pakitsa. Pig eats uh, check it out. Wow. And we have the burger. Guys, Cindy here. I have Justin over at Bacon Bar. So this has been on my bucket list for oh my gosh, probably like a good two years. I found it online and I'm here in Vegas here for another week or so. So I definitely thought I would check this place out. Make sure that you follow my blog at bucketlistcoachblog.wordpress.com and here in Sid City. Go to Sin City Food and Travel. So tell us all about the history of Bacon Bar. Okay, so uh, we did Bar Rescue, I think it was uh, five and a half, almost six years ago. So we changed it from Kerry Sports Club to Bacon Bar. And since then, we've only expanded. Um, we did a quarter of a million dollar remodel about like three years ago. Uh, put in a wall, made it all 21 plus in this area and still family friendly dining room. Mm -hmm. uh, we do all of our food in house, everything down to the burgers. Um, everything is done from prep cooks. We've got three prep cooks on 24-7, um, so we put a lot of love into our food. It's all family run. Uh, this is our only one that we have. We're planning on keeping it that way. And uh, we're just trying to keep that uh, mom and pop kind of feel going. We like to know everybody by name. We put our heart and soul into the kitchen, the food. We have 47 different craft beers on. They're constantly rotating. Wow. Uh, we got a lot of one-off kegs. Um, yeah, uh, it's a great place to come in. Uh, when you come in, you're either my mom, my sister, my grandfather, or me. Uh, if you stop by, make sure you ask for one of us, and we'll give you a little rundown. If you have any questions on craft beer or anything, we'll walk you through it, and hopefully we'll see you sometime soon. Well, great. Well, let me just run through really uh, quickly on a few things. So what do you have as far as craft beer? Do you have, like, Lagunitas? What are your, like, top um, vendors? So we do a lot of really one-off craft beers because we have so many tap handles. Um, we get allocated kegs, so maybe if only two kegs come into Las Vegas, we'll get one of those two kegs. So you kind of have to revisit us at least once every three weeks because we'll be throwing something on that you will literally, you have to search all of Vegas and you'd only find it in one other place. So it really depends. I mean, we get stuff from Iceland, um, everywhere. We have uh, meads that we get on that are like 19% meads that come in a five ounce pour glass that are just super crafty, super different. Uh, we always have something that's coming on that you're like, what the heck is that? You have to at least try because you won't get that option again. And you just got voted, uh, was it Top Vegas uh, Sports Bar? Can you tell me about that? We did. Uh, actually, we didn't even know that that happened. That was just because we've had a lot of publicity. Um, again, we were like one of the, uh, top, I think, top 10 highest rated bar rescues that they ever did. So they constantly replay our episode. We have the Travel Channel come in twice now. They did a uh, food paradise here. Oh, and, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're known, baby. We're known for our kitchen. So not only do we have an awesome kitchen and we're also family friendly, but we just have all these different things going on. We have live events all the time. So, I mean, there's you have to come in and check when you're in town uh, and see what we have going on because it's changing constantly. And can you tell me a little bit about this bacon sandwich that I just had? Like, what brought yeah. this on? I mean, the amazing aioli in there. Oh, it is just uh, absolutely amazing. So, again, because we're uh, very bacon forward, we always get customers or people coming in with, um, like, specially bacon dishes that they've been using at home. And so when customers come in and say, hey, you need to try this, we try things out, and we always are trying to critique yeah, we want to make sure that you come in for a BLT. It's better than any other BLT that you've had before. On the planet. Yes, yes. yes. So we always put in some funny stuff on there. So we have cucumbers on our BLT. We have a, uh, uh, I think that's a basil. I can't remember what um, aioli sauce that we yeah, put on like there. Like a basil aioli. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just it has a certain 
it takes the saltiness away from it and gives it kind of that earthy feel to it, so it has that perfect mouth feel. So it kind of yes. balances out that salt level on it. So it just it really comes together really nicely. And so how long have you been in business? We bought this back in May of 09, and we've been running strong ever since then. Oh, great. Can you tell everybody how they could find you, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook? Or yes. are you on all the uh, social networks? Yeah, we are on um, Bacon Bar at SinCity.com. If you want to go to our website, we don't have our menu on there because we're constantly changing it. So it's kind of one of those things where you got to come in, sit down, see what's new on the menu because we're constantly doing like little critiques and things like that. So we don't put a... Um, a rock solid menu on there ever because we're always, you know, taking little pieces out, adding things in, constantly trying to build it up and make it new and fresh. So. Wow. And then, so, what is your uh, number one network? Would it be um, Facebook or Twitter? Facebook. Uh, it, our main social. Um, our social media is going to be on Facebook. Oh, That's okay. our main thing. We are, honestly, we don't do a lot of advertisement in, on any other sources just because through Bar Rescue and everything else, it pretty much does everything yeah. for and us. And word of mouth, that of course. Way. Yeah. Grassroots yeah. marketing is our best thing because when you come in, like I said, you'll meet me, my sister, my, my grandfather, my mother. We'll come sit down, drink a beer with you, talk to you. You know, give you some samples of the man candy so you can try it out. So, yeah, anytime you come in, just make sure you ask for one of us. Well, so you guys heard it here from Las Vegas, Nevada. And, yeah, we need to get this guy out to Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA. I'm just saying we need nice. one of these bars out there. So thank you so much for your time today. And, everyone, please take the time to like their page on Facebook. You'll see the link here at the bottom of the video. Hope to see you at one of the beaches or foodie destinations of the world. And remember, you have two dates and one dash. Make the most of that dash. Thank you.